Come on in and welcome to my home. Today I'm doing something different. Today I'm doing a collab video with Brian from BK Barbecue. You have got to check out his channel. It has some of the greatest barbecue recipes, reviews, and anything barbecue that you would possibly want. Brian's going to teach us how to make a martini, which is really good, so you're going to want to stick around and watch that. So I'm going to hand it off to you, Brian. Well, thanks, Chris. Uh, I'm Brian with the BK Barbecue channel, and today I'm going to be doing Martini 101. So there's a couple ways to make a classic martini. That's with vodka or uh, gin, and specifically London dry gin. The first thing I want to do is make sure that you get a good spirit to mix with. You don't want to be using well liquors for a martini, uh, but you don't need to go kettle one or anything real expensive. I like a Smirnoff uh, for a vodka and either Tangare or the Bombay Sapphire here for gin. Okay, we're going to get started with a up dirty martini. So up means classic martini glass. We're going to do Vodka and dirty is the olive brine. So we're going to go ahead and get this going with the shaker. Now we're going to do two and a half ounces of vodka. And this only goes up to two. So we'll do two and then a half. You're going to need dry vermouth, half ounce of dry vermouth. Then a half ounce of olive brine. Now there's dirty and then there's filthy dirty. If someone wants filthy dirty, you, you want to put a full ounce of olive juice in. Or if they if they like it neat, neat is the absence of the olive brine. So you would just omit the olive brine at this point. So we're going to do a half ounce of the olive brine. And shake. Now we're going to garnish with two olives. And that is a classic dirty martini up. Okay, next we'll do a neat gin martini on the rocks. So for that we're going to start with a on the rocks glass with some ice. Now for this one I'll show you how you can do this without an exact measuring cup and for this you're going to do two shots of the dry uh, gin. and then one full shot of the dry vermouth.
and that is a gin martini on the rocks neat and that's the basics of making martinis now you can go with you know many different variations on these with a perfect martini a gimlet uh, all sorts of different things but this is the the classic traditional uh, martini two different ways and that'll get you started wasn't that great making martinis can be so much fun i hope that you go back over to brian's channel and really check things out because his recipes are amazing the reviews are so cool it's one of those channels i think you're going to like to subscribe to now if this is your first time here remember to subscribe every thursday is a cocktail and i love making cocktails for you and like i always say why buy it when you can make it yourself